All right, folks, welcome back to Steamboat Today. We're here with Moving Mountain Chalets, and we have Robin and Heather Craig in here. How are you guys? Good. Very How good. are you doing? Great, great. Now, we, we, uh, quite, a, quite a bit has happened in the commercial break here. We're setting up a nice little chef station here on the news desk, and uh, Anthony's going to be whipping up something here in a second. But um, let's just talk about what Moving Mountains is, Moving Mountain Chalets. Well, um, we've been here about 10 years, and we came here to bring a, a catered chalet concept that's really popular in Europe. Um, about 40% of skiers in Europe stay in catered chalets, which is a house where staff come in each day and take care of everything for you. They cook your breakfast, they pick you up from the airport, they run you to and from the slopes. It makes for a hassle-free vacation. So as far as like the types of person who take this type of vacation, you said it's kind of a you European know, thing? but It's a European thing, but it's really big with families. And yeah. it's a great tie-in with Steamboat. We have a lot of families that come here, and if you imagine you bring two or three families together in a house, yeah. And that's like, that's like a little army of people to feed. That's so. right. That's a big Good undertaking. Chaos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, and, that, and that's, um, it's, it's, it's like, kind of like a bed and breakfast almost, but it's, you know, you got the family a going. A bed and breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast, yeah. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> With a whole lot of driving. So, so, so it's, a little, it's a little more all-inclusive there. It really is everything. I mean, it's everything that you can imagine would be work uh -huh. while on vacation that we let our staff take care of. So okay. all you have to do is get yourself to Hayden and uh, we'll take care of the rest. That sounds yeah, great. Pick, pick up the guests at the airport and then bring them to the chalets and the chefs already have a nice hors d'oeuvre going for them when they walk in. We work with the ski rental guys that come right to the house, so it yeah. really makes it a nice, pleasant experience coming into a ski area instead of the chaos. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, we were mentioning in the opening kind of all the lines at the store, the grocery store and Exactly. Talk about chaos, yeah, you? the whole goal is keep you out of a line. So yeah. we're going to keep you out of the line for lift tickets, ski school. We'll arrange that before you get here. Uh -huh. We're going to keep you out of. You've been you've been in City Market on the Saturday, oh, yeah. right? You know what that's like. <laughs> you never ask a friend to go to City Market at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you were mentioning Hayden, and, but the, but you do have an office by the chamber. Uh, in, in Steamboat. Yep, and we've raised our head above the sand. The business has <laughs> uh, grown somewhat. And uh, one of the great things about, oh great, my phone's ringing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> live TV. Folks. Yep. And, and if, you hear, if you hear something in the background, folks, that's Anthony uh, Kresge cooking, and it smells pretty good. Um, we're, we're so yeah. excited about the idea. Uh, you missed the turn Robin's the blowing up over here. It's, it's chaos in the studio. So, uh, uh, you know, Heather, you're, you know, you're, you're kind of the energy behind this operation, and I can I can see that. Oh, I, I'm definitely <laughs> the, the the lodging is Robin. <laughs> yeah. he, he's the main contact there, yeah. and then catering was my focus. The, the catering and the, and the food and everything, right? Exactly, and we've kind of taken it from this cater chelly concept that we've had for ten years. Yeah, and then we ran yachts for ten years before that, so Man. we've been in this business for twenty years of doing this full service catering, but we realized that there's a lot of tourists and locals alike that would also like to have the same experience of yeah. having somebody come in and prepare their meals for them yeah. in their house, having a dinner party, or they would just like us to drop off the meals for them. Yeah. And then and that's that where well. our, okay. exactly that's where our catering business is now going. We're working with Anthony now quite a bit to promote our catering services, both to tourists and locals alike. Yeah. That just want to take the hassle out of, of all the the necessities of catering. Yeah, I mean, it's, it sounds like a, a great concept and it would be uh, just a, a, a neat thing to, to do. We're going to go over to Anthony now and he's just shuffing it up over here. What can we, what can we tell about, uh, what, what do you got going over there, Anthony? What I've got going on here today is uh, a mango spice corn prawn cake. It's one of our uh, many uh, fantastic hors d'oeuvres that we provide at, uh, at the chalets and within weddings and caterings and, and uh, just different events here and there, but uh, basically what it is here is that uh, it's just a combination of a, a few really delicious food items. You notice how I'm a lot closer to you now. Right? Well, I mean, <laughs> now that the food is good. The people on TV, they can't really smell it, so you're going to have to... I, I am going to interpret. You're going to have to really give it to, uh, give it to them. them. So at any rate, uh, yeah. we've got some uh, cut up prawns here. I've already divided out the ingredients okay. for you guys, but uh, just for you folks at home. You can easily put this together uh, yourself if uh, you're looking at being creative this holiday Come season. Come on, Anthony, they're supposed to call us. <laughs> <laughs> or you can definitely give us a call. It's just uh, a little bit of prawn cakes, uh, about three tablespoons, uh -huh. uh, about a teaspoon of ginger. Oh, I smell that ginger. In there, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, the corn I've already cut up and mashed up for you there. That's a big part of the, the prawn cake. Obviously, the mango chutney. Oh, mango okay. chutney. If you need the recipe on mango chutney, 
then you better call us. Can you do that? <laughs> then uh, what we've also got here is uh, little roasted bell peppers. Uh huh. Here that we roast ourselves. We make everything in house. Um, we've got uh, just a tad bit of uh, pesto for the top and a, and a little bit of chives. Okay. Okay. After you get all those together, you want to kind of put them all together, mash them. You getting sprayed there? This is like a, sh a cooking show now. <laughs> There we go. And what I've done is I've put it all together for you already because we'd be here all morning cooking, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. Got to be in the kitchen. Just watch out. When Anthony starts going bam, it's going to get ugly. Really? Yeah. Is that it? So I've already, taken, uh, yeah, I've already taken a little bit of the, uh, the prawn cakes that have been pre-prepared here. And we've got those all together now. All you have to do is simply just saute them in the pan, just like that. Then we're going to take a tad bit of our pesto and tomato salsa, put that right on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then what I like to do is take a little bit of mascarpone, which you can buy at the store. It's mm -hmm. a cheese. Don't try to make it at home. <laughs> they, uh, it takes quite a bit of time to make it, and I just top that off. That's a little citrus mascarpone. Right over the top of that. Mascarpone. Love it. And then, to give it the little spice, I've prepared some chili oil. Wow. Michael, stop drooling. I know. I'm, uh, <laughs> this is uh, it's very, what a treat. This is our Christmas. So and if you're at home impressing some friends, you know we all love those garnishes. I like to buy daikon sprouts, which are a little bit spicier, <laughs> like the horseradish. And oh, you yeah? just put those right on top like that. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times you don't eat the. Uh, you but can, you can eat. I, I don't like to put anything on the plate you can't eat. Yeah, that's a good move. When you come all together, the prawns, the spice, the ginger, the citrus in it, the uh, mascarpone, the chili oil, uh -huh. it's uh, it makes up for a delicious appetizer. That sounds. Uh, it just looks wonderful. It smells <laughs> wonderful, and that's so that what what's in the bowl became this is <laughs> what we've got here. Yeah. So. We provide all these in our in our menus. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing a New Year's Eve dinner yeah. uh, for locals and for uh, visitors alike, and we um, are gonna. This is one of our appetizers on that menu, including okay. with oysters, Rockefeller, and uh, we've got foie gras. Uh -huh. We've got lamb, lobster tail, uh, black truffle risotto, Man. and uh, chocolate torte. Should be a good all festival. Right. Anthony, nice job. Thank you. It was great, uh, great having Thanks you do your lot. demonstration in here. I'm going to work over here just to sign off <laughs> with Robin and Heather um, just to get just very quickly to get a hold of you guys. How do we go about doing that? Well, the most obvious way to get hold of us is through our website, okay. movingmountains.com. Okay. Um, you can uh, find us in the phone book if you're here in town and you're looking for catering services. And uh, we're going to be running that special for the New Year's menu through, uh, you can order that up the next week. Are so, we going to put that in the Steamboat Pilot in today? Next <laughs> I think we are. Uh, <laughs> Steamboat Pilot, check out. <laughs> that Make is sure a you look, great watch place for to right? <laughs> Moving Mountain Chalet's advertisements in the Steamboat Pilot in today. MovingMountains.com. Yep. Did I get yep. that right? Okay. Yep. Robin and Heather, thanks so much for coming in. Anthony, well done over there. Thank you. What a blast. All right, folks, we are going to take a quick break and be right back here on Steamboat Today.